How's it going guys and welcome to Gaming Evolved, I'm Shifty Cow and in today's video we're going to be talking a little bit about Battlefield 4 Rush. Now before we get into it, if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe as we do post Battlefield content daily. So in the background I've got some Rush gameplay of me and Rubik's Cube just strolling around in an LAV and probably one of the most important things that people really seem to overlook when playing Rush is to really use the vehicles because they give them to you for a reason. They've balanced these maps around the ideas of having these LAVs or having an Amtrak or whatever they give you, they put those in for a reason, either because it's a really hard objective to attack and it's just necessary to get everyone from point A to point B or it's just necessary to push through the enemy lines because there's a lot of scenarios where it's pretty much impossible to capture a point without having either an LAV or an Amtrak. So that's going to be the first tip for this video is to use vehicles when they give them to you. If you have an LAV or a tank, be sure to use that, especially if you're attackers because it can be nearly impossible to win the game without it. If you're playing defensively and you're a defender, you can pretty much camp out the objectives and win the round pretty easily. But if they have an LAV or a tank that's pushing into the MCOMs, it's pretty hard to defend it, especially when you don't have any engineers out, because most of the people I find are either playing as support, sniping off in the distance, and then occasionally you come off a couple people who are playing either assault or engineers. So for just about every single round of rush I played over the past week, just about every time there was a decent driver or even just one who didn't have the best skills but at least knew what he was trying to do, maybe flank around or just park it by the objective, we usually won those rounds just because the team could spawn on it, they could hop out, arm it, hop back in, and then have access to like a machine gun or a cannon, and defending an MCOM when you have a machine gun and you're in an armored vehicle is pretty easy and you rake up a ton of kills, so as long as you have a decent driver, you're usually going to win that round. Moving on to the next tip, which is once again kind of centered around the attackers, because defenders you really just kind of sit down, set up a machine gun, and win. So for the attackers, if you're having a tough time, try and go for a flank. These are really, really crucial to winning the game, because if the enemies have to fight you on two different sides or even three different sides, it's going to be a lot harder for them to hold that position. So especially if you have a vehicle such as an LAV, Amtrak, or even just a dirt bike, and you can get behind the enemies, then have your squad spawn in you, you're going to be able to arm the objective and probably get a lot of kills in the process because everyone's going to have their back to you. So this is where it kind of comes down to knowing the map that you're playing on and this is going to come with a lot of different practice and playing a bunch of different rounds, kind of seeing where other people choose to attack or defend, what works out, and this just takes a lot of repetition. But overall, if you're able to do this consistently, you're pretty much always going to win the game. So a couple of different tactics that I see all the time on Rush, but I'm not sure I really agree with them, and personally when it happens to me I just get really annoyed, is first of all the mortars. The mortars in Rush are by far way worse than just about anything else in Battlefield 4. A lot of people have complained about the UCAV because you really can't do anything, and for mortars it's that times like 10, because they can just rapid fire mortars in, and they end up just getting a ton of kills, and you really can't do anything about it, because you kill them, then they just redeploy with more. So, probably one of the best tips I have to taking out guys with mortars is to just try and ignore them and play the objective, because you can't do anything about them, you can't kill them, you pretty much just have to accept the fate that there's going to be rockets coming in and trying to kill you, and hopefully you can predict where they're going to be clustered at. So, as long as you kind of separate and fan out a little bit from your teammates, I found that that's probably the best tip I have for avoiding mortars, because chances are they're going to try and go for five or six people, rather than just one guy who's going off to the flank. There was one person who was defending, and on the other team, all they did was just sit back with their mortars in their spawn, so we couldn't get them at all, and they ended up going like 18 and 2 in just the first couple of minutes, because they were just spamming the mortars into our spawn. So, if that ever does happen, just trying to ignore them, or I would just flat out recommend trying a different server, because people People like that are really hard to get rid of. So the next tactic that I see a lot on the battlefield is the combination of the FLIR and smoke. And this is somewhat effective, most of the time people can just throw in grenades or just spam it with bullets, but if you're on the attacking team and you're struggling to take one of the last MCOMs and you throw a couple of smokes on there with a FLIR, chances are you're going to be able to sneak past the enemy team and stealthily arm it while your team pushes up with you. So this is usually effective, although it's not a guaranteed capture because, you know, obviously there's a lot of things you can do to prevent it, whether it's just spamming it with bullets, RPGs, grenades, really whatever you decide to do, it's still going to be a little bit tougher, but it's still a pretty effective tactic. So the last thing I wanted to talk about is the Amtrax in Rush, and a lot of people think that if it's not an LEV or a tank or an attack boat or whatever it is, it's pretty much not worth taking. So the transports or the Amtraks, those usually don't get used because they tend to be way slower than other things, 
and pretty much limited in firepower, but in this clip right here, we're able to capture these MCOMs solely because we have an Amtrak, and they can't really do anything about it. Most of them are support, so all they have is C4, and they try and scamper after us, but I have a gunner, so he's just gonna take them out, and we end up getting a nice flank, capturing the objectives, and that's what Rush should be, is if you have a couple of people who really know what they're doing, they should be able to push forward, capture the MCOM, and everyone should have fun. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below, and if you have any video suggestions or topics you'd like me to talk about, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. Go check out our Twitter, and until next time, guys, stay buttery.